Rendezvous Kids, welcome back to another week online. We're so happy you're here. My name is Miss Sophie and it's scuba week. But wait, where is, I'm supposed to be here with them. Oh, Miss Marissa, where's your scuba gear? I thought we were gonna miss our flight. What are you talking about scuba? What? It's scuba week, we're ready to go swimming. Swimming? Yeah. Scuba? I thought you said we were going to Aruba. Huh? What do you mean what? Miss Marissa, it's scuba week. We're gonna go swimming in Kids. We're excited about swimming. Swimming? Yeah. I have my whole beach backpack, but there's nothing about swimming in here. What are we oh, gonna do? Wait, right. Miss Marissa, do you not know how to swim? I don't, but <gasps> you know what? I know something that's gonna be able to help us out. Okay. Whoa. I have, this is called a kickboard. Oh, and man. And it's gonna help me learn how to swim. Right, Miss Sophie? Awesome, all right. I'm excited. Should we practice? We should practice. How okay. are we gonna practice? Can you teach okay, me something? I things? think we gotta do just like a few like swim motions. Boo kids, can you stand up and help me to show Miss Marissa? We're gonna first, let's start with like the freestyle motion. You know, we go like this. Yeah, and then you, you're you just gonna basically, with this thing, you're just gonna like kick along, kick, kick, kick. Okay, you know, so go kicking. what is this called? The, this is like the doggy paddle, right? Yeah, yeah, Where like just, that, like that. And then we have like this. the breast stroke, you know, we go like this. Just and then we can go like the back stroke, you know? That's all advanced. these These are all That's awesome advanced. swim motions. We're That's super really awesome. pumped about scuba Ooh. week. Okay, scuba Ibu week. Kids, scuba week. We'll go to Aruba next week. Okay, okay. yeah, we can go to Aruba we'll, another time. We'll scuba this week, next week. We're going to Aruba. <laughs> Come on now, I'm excited. Are you excited? It's gonna be awesome. But Miss Marissa, you know, we always start off our lessons online with our Boo Kids values. Do you think that our Boo Kids remember the Boo Kids values? Of course they know our Boo Kids values, Miss Sophie. Boo right guys? Boo Kids, if you remember the Boo Kids values, let's all stand up to our feet with, start off with number one. Ready? Listening ears. I will listen twice as much as I speak. Great job. Number two is kind mouth. I will use my words to honor others and speak life. Number three is helping hands. I will use my hands for helping and sharing. That's right, Boo Kids. Boo Kid value number four is humble heart. I will put others before myself. Ooh, that's a good one, that's a good one. And last but not least, Boo Kid value number five is positive attitude. I will always choose joy. Great job, Boo Kids. And let's remember, we don't just use the Boo Kids values at church or on Sundays, right, Miss Marissa? That's right. We use them all week long because we are leaders and leaders use the Boo Kids values. We're super pumped for this Sunday. It's gonna be so much fun. I think Miss Marissa is gonna go learn how to swim. But while she's doing that, we're gonna jump in to our time of worship. It's gonna be amazing. We'll see you at worship. Stand up guys, we'll see you there.
worship together. It's so special when we come together to worship God. But now it's time for us to jump into our memory verse. And this month in October, our memory verse comes from the book of John. It's John 3, 16. So we're going to learn it all together right now. First, I'm going to go ahead and show you the motions and then we'll do it all together. Are you ready? So John 3, 16 says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. All right, legend, simple enough, right? That's John 3, 16. So now wherever you're at, jump up on your feet, maybe do a couple of jumping jacks. I don't know what you gotta do, to warm up, but I want you to do this memory verse with me. Are you ready? All right, so first we're gonna start by saying where it comes from, right? John 3, 16. 
for God. We're gonna point up to God for God. So loved, make a heart with your whole body. The world, God loved the whole world, right? So for that part, we're gonna make like a big globe, the whole world that he gave. You and I are gonna go ahead and go like this. He gave his one and only son. Put your hand out, one and only son that whoever believes in him, put your hands together like this, like you're praying to God, you're talking to God. Whoever believes in him, his one and only son, Jesus, will not perish. Shake your head, will not perish. What does perish mean? It means to die, right? We get to live forever and ever thanks to Jesus. So this verse tells us that whoever believes in him, Jesus, shall not perish, but have eternal life. So go ahead, like, you're making stars. Have eternal life. All right, legend, simple enough, right? Go ahead and do it with me. Let's put it all together. Ready? John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 16. Great job, legends. Go ahead and give yourselves a round of applause. We love you so much here in Boo Kids, but now it's time for us to jump into our Bible story. So grab your Bible if you have it. Get to a place where you're ready to lean in and learn from God's word. We'll see you there. Welcome back to another lesson. My name is Kat, but I'm supposed to be with Dante and Kat. Yeah. Where were you what? guys? Hey, Kat! What's up? I, I had to get ready. Wait, it's scuba day. It's scu scuba, scuba yeah, day. Yeah, scuba wait, wait, day. Wait, wait. Like, we're going to go scuba diving. Scuba at the beach, though. We were going to go scuba diving. In the ocean, you know, scuba diving. Like, uh, down, like goggles, you know, your tank. I think I messed up. Yeah, you don't look ready. I thought we were just going to have a beach day. Who doesn't love a good beach day? I do. I do, too. Boo kids, do you have any goggles out there that you put on? Or maybe your bathing suit? Maybe, maybe you're not a big fan of scuba and you just want to go hang with Mr. Dante at the beach. That's hey, fine, too. Yeah, I mean, the beach is a good place. I, I love it. Or the pool. Yeah. Can't forget, there's always the pool. Except it is October, so in some places it might be kind of cold right now. Yeah. But not in Touché. Miami. <laughs> not in South Florida. It's summer all year long. And then we have that one week where it gets like to 57 degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that anyway, <laughs> no matter what, we're going to have an awesome day That's here right. in Legend. My name is Miss Cat. And I'm Mr. Dante. And I'm Cass. And we're so happy that you're here with us. We're ready to jump back in to God's Word because this month, all month long, we've been learning about Jesus. The gospel. Jesus, we've been learning about Jesus. Yes, of course we're learning about Jesus, but our collection is called The Gospel. That's right. Because it's the good news about Jesus. Last week we learned that there are four books. Four of them. In the Bible that are all called The Gospel according to whoever wrote them. So we had first Matthew, then we then had Mark, Mark, Cass, what came next? Luke. Luke. And then we had John. John. Four books. And today we're actually going to read from one of those books. We're reading from the book of Matthew. Mm. But before we do, we always take a moment to pray. Right, yeah. Mr. Dante? That's right. Can I pray? Let's pray. All right, man. Dear Lord, thank you for who you are and what you're doing in our lives. God, as we open your word, I ask that we see you for who you are. And God, I ask that your word speak directly to us and we have the best day ever. In Jesus' name, everybody said, Amen. Amen. Man, I am so excited that we're going to be diving into the book of Matthew. Diving in. Get it? <laughs> diving in, legends. You're that's supposed to be why diving it was, in. That's why it's scuba day. Yes, we're diving into God's word. 
That makes a lot of sense now. Yeah. But I mean, we're going to dive in to God's word. We're going to be reading in Matthew chapter 3 about the baptism of Jesus. I'm going to have one of my favorite people, one of Mrs. Cat's favorite people, one, yeah. one of everyone's favorite people in the whole wide world read for us in Matthew chapter 3. Can you, can you take off for us? Yeah. Read really loud, Cat, so all the legends can hear you. All okay. of them. Even the ones in the back. Yeah. Then Jesus came to Galilee, to the Jordan, to baptize by John. Okay, wait. Pause. So we're reading in the book of Matthew, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I thought we were talking about Jesus, but who's John? So John is Jesus' cousin, his, his older cousin. And he was sent before Jesus to prepare the way. Mm. And so by preparing the way, he's going to meet Jesus in Galilee, in the Jordan. Wait, so that, what's the Jordan? Well... Some people think it's like their friend Jordan, like my friend Jordan stays in San Francisco, but no, this is a river. This is an actual river where people were meeting John to be baptized. So, so the could, Jordan River. The Jordan River, that's Got it. right. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay, so Jesus is with his cousin, yep. John, uh -huh. in a river yes. called Jordan. Yep. yep. Got it. Got it. Jesus, right. John, Jordan. Good. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. And do you, do you come to me? So, okay, John mm -hmm. is saying, Jesus, why would I baptize you? Because he knows that yeah. Jesus is the savior of the whole world. Yeah, the son of God. Yeah, that would be like intimidating or like, I don't know, that would be kind of just that, weird. That would be kind of like, I don't know, if LeBron James said, hey, I want to be on your basketball team, Mr. Dante. And I'd be like, <laughs> like sure? it's, it's Jesus, the yeah. savior of the world. And he's saying, dunk me under the water, John. I'm going to be baptized. And John is like, wait a second. Whoa, Hold up. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. Keep going. Jesus replied, let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this fulfilled all righteousness. Then John consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was open, and he saw the Spirit of the God descending like a dove and all lighting on him. A voice and a voice heaven said, This is my son, whom I love, with him I am well pleased. Wow. That's incredible. Did you see that though? Legends, did you see that? One God, yeah. three parts. Right, three and persons, three, really. Three persons, and they all are in this same moment in the Bible. Yeah, so first Jesus yep. convinces John to baptize him. That's right. So Jesus is baptized. That means that Jesus went under the water and came back up. Why? To show us what it looks like to be baptized, to actually show us that you and I, when we've decided to follow Jesus, that we can be baptized to show the world that this is something that we're going to do, that we yeah. want to follow Jesus. But then at that very moment, we hear God's voice. Yep. We see the spirit come on Jesus like a dove. Come on. And we see Jesus there who is literally God in person, in human Form. And so it's just like Mr. Dante said, three persons, one God. How many of you guys know that God is so much bigger than anything you or I could even imagine yeah. in our minds? It's pretty crazy to think that our God, our Father God who loves us, who made us, who calls us his children, he's actually three persons in one. And these three persons, they work together. Yeah. Jesus didn't do anything without the Spirit of God or the Holy Spirit guiding him, leading him. Yeah. And guess what? That same Spirit can guide you and me, can lead you and me too. He didn't do anything without God, his Father. And in fact, he taught us how to pray to God, our Father. And so everything Jesus did, from praying to how he lived his life to being baptized himself, was to show you and me how we can live our best lives when we decide to follow his example. Amen. And I, I love that Jesus 
led the way. He showed us what it was to be baptized and that Jesus came to earth to save our souls. And right where you're at right now, man, if you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to give you that opportunity. See, maybe you're not being baptized right now, but God still knows your heart and God still wants you to respond. And so I want you to close your eyes right where you're at. And on the count of three, if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you want to follow Jesus for the rest of your life, man, all I want you to do is raise your hand when I get to three. One, today is the day of salvation. Two, don't put off for tomorrow. Don't wait later. Three, right there. Jesus sees your hand. God sees your hand. And I want you to pray this prayer with me. Say, Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I love you. I love you. I want you to be the Lord of my life. I want you to be the Lord of my life. I want you to be the light of my world. I want you to be the light of my world. I believe. I believe. That you are God. That you are God. And I am here. And I am here. To follow you forever. To follow you forever. In Jesus' name, everybody said. Amen. 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 Awesome. What a great lesson today, right? It's a story in the Bible, but it's a true story. It's really what happened. And I love that all month long, we're going to be learning more and more stories about Jesus, That's who right. he was, and really what he's continuing to do. Because as Mr. Dante said, Jesus did die for our sins. But did he stay dead, Legends? No! He beat death. And so this is the person, this is the God that we're learning from That's all right. month long here in Legends. So come back next week. We can't wait to see you. But even before that, Cass, what happens at 12 p.m. and 5 p.m. every single Sunday? Kids crew. Kids, Kids cruise. cruise! Kids Cruise are my favorite part here at Boot Kids. Heck yeah. We get to come together on a Zoom, play games, learn our memory verse, talk more about the Bible story. Let's go. And it's so much fun. So all you have to do is go to boochurch.com slash bookids and you can jump into a kids crew on Sunday. Maybe that's today for you. Maybe I don't know what day you're watching this. Hopefully it's Sunday. Hopefully it's Sunday. But man, either way, we're so happy that you guys joined us and we can't wait to see you next week. We love you so much, Boo Kids.